Hi student, this is Sivokumar, 11th standard business mathematics and statistics, chapter number 1, exercise 1.4. Here, input output analysis. In this section, uh, we are going to discuss about that uh, the Hawkins Simons conditions. Hawkins Simon conditions ensure the viability of the system. If B is a technology matrix, then Hawkins Simon statements are sorry conditions are the two conditions to be satisfied. The first one is the main diagonal main diagonal elements in I minus B must be positive i minus b is a matrix in which the main diagonal elements must be positive and at the same time determinant of i minus b must also be positive okay there is a word you are given technology matrix uh, here is the technology matrix look at that uh, capital b uh, that is represented by the letter capital b that is equal to b11 B12, B21, and B22. Uh, that is a two rows, two columns matrix. Particularly B11, B12, B21, B22. The formula here it is B11 that is equal to A11 by X1, B12 that is A12 by X2, B21 that is A21 by X1, and B22 that is A22 divided by X2. Okay. So while working out the problem, you can understand. Yes, I straight away get into that exercise uh, 1.4. Children, I read the question. Listen, the, te the technology matrix of an economic system of uh, two industries is given by the matrix. Test whether the system is viable as per Hawkins Simon condition. Okay. I consider the technology matrix as capital B. Now you have to calculate I minus B. I minus B that is equal to I, you know, very well, that is a identity matrix of order 2, that is 1, 0, 0, 1. Minus B matrix that is 0 0.50, 0 0.30, 0 0.41, and 0 0.33. Then you know how to subtract the matrices that is equal to the corresponding elements to be subtracted 1 minus 0 0.50, 0 minus 0 minus 0 0.30, 0 minus 0 0.41 and 1 minus 0 0.33, 1 minus 0 0.33 that is equal to for doing the calculation, we can make use of the calculator that is allowed for you. 1 minus 0 0.50 that is equal to 0 0.50. 0 minus uh, 0 0.30 that is minus 0 0.30. And if you subtract, you will be getting minus 0 0.41. 1 minus 0 0.33 that is equal to 0 0.67. Okay. Now, I am going to find out determinant of AB determinant of i minus b not a b sorry determinant of i minus b okay i minus b here we have that uh, four elements to be written here 0 0.50 minus 0 0.30 minus 0 0.41 and 0 0.67 that is equal to you know how to expand the determinant you just multiply the uh, leading diagonal elements if you multiply 0 0.50 and 0 0.67 uh, 0 0.50 into 0 0.67 then uh, minus into minus plus 
uh, after multiplying the non leading diagonal elements you have to introduce a sign minus yes so that i put minus over here then i multiply these two that is minus a 0 0.41 and the minus 0 0.30 that is equal to if you multiply these two numbers 0 0.50 and 0 0.67 it will be getting 0 0.335 then minus into minus plus plus into minus minus then you have to multiply these two if you multiply it will be getting 0 0.123 that is equal to then you have to subtract 5 minus 3 that is equal to 2, 3 minus 2 that is equal to 1 and 3 minus 1 that is equal to 2, that is 0 0.212. Yes, look at that, uh, uh, two conditions of Hawking Simons, we have to check whether they are satisfied or not, then only we can say the system is viable. The first condition is the main diagonal elements of I minus B, this is I minus B, correct? The main diagonal elements of I minus B should be positive. Yes, they are positive only. Both the elements are positive only. And the second condition is that the determinant of I minus B should also be positive. Yes, you are getting the positive value. So, both the conditions are satisfied. Therefore, we can say the system is viable. Then you have to write the result over here. Since I write the result, since the main diagonal main diagonal elements of i minus b are positive and the value of the determinant of i minus b is also positive we can see the system is viable the system is viable so the problem number 1 is completed then i'll be teaching problem number 2 now so problem number 2 uh, you are given a technology matrix uh, we can consider as capital b then you have to verify uh, the system is viable as per Hawkins Simon's conditions. Okay. Yes, you are given the matrix. I consider the technology matrix as B. Then you have to find out I minus B. I that is identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1 minus the B matrix 0 0.6, 0 0.9, 0 0.20 and 0 0.2 are same only. 0 0.80 that is 0 0.8 only that is equal to the corresponding elements to be subtracted 1 minus 0 0.6 0 minus 0 0.9 then 0 minus 0 0.2 0 minus 0 0.2 finally 1 minus 0 0.8 that is equal to 1 minus 0 0.6 that is equal to 0 0.4 0 minus 0 0.9 that is minus 0 0.9 0 minus 0 0.2 that is minus 0 0.2 and 1 minus 0 0.8 that is equal to 0 0.2. Then you have to find the determinant of I minus B. That is equal to determinant of determinant of I minus B that is 0 0.4 minus 0 0.9 minus 0 0.2 and 0 0.2 then you have to multiply the uh, leading diagonal elements that is 0 0.4 into 0 0.2 then minus of have to multiply these two numbers minus 0 0.2 minus 0 0.9 that is equal to if we multiply it will be getting 0 0.08 minus into minus plus plus into minus that is minus 0.2 into 0.9 that is equal to a 0.18. Yeah, if you subtract 
will be getting 0 0.08 minus 0 0.18 that is equal to minus 0 0.1 okay which is negative negative means less than 0 yes uh, even for the previous problem we have got that uh, 0 0.212 it could that greater than 0 greater than 0 means positive okay now uh, we know that uh, hawkins simon conditions uh, two conditions so uh, to be satisfied then only we can say the system is viable here we have that i minus b the first condition is satisfied the first condition is the main diagonal elements of i minus b are positive yes here they are positive only uh, but the determinant of i minus b it should be it should be positive but we have a negative therefore the system is not viable then we have to write the result even though the main diagonal main diagonal elements of the matrix i minus b or positive but determinant of i minus b is negative so one condition is satisfied and the another one is not satisfied therefore the system the given system is not viable as per Hawking Simon condition Hawking Simon M O N Simon condition Hawkins Simon condition. Even for the previous problem, you write the reason here after writing that viable as per Hawkins Simon conditions. Now problem number three, you are given the technology matrix, uh, you have to verify the given system is viable as per Hawkins uh, Simon condition, okay. First the technology matrix we consider as B, now you have to consider I minus B, I is an identity matrix, so 1, 0, 0, 1 minus B matrix here it is that is uh, 0 0.50, uh, 0 0.25, uh, 0 0.40, 0 0.67. Then corresponding elements to be subtracted 1 minus 0 0.50, 0 minus 0 0.25, 0 minus 0 0.40 finally 1 minus 0 0.67 that is equal to if we subtract you will be getting 0 0.50 then 0 minus 0 0.25 that is equal to minus 0 0.25 0 minus 0 0.40 that is equal to minus 0 0.40 then if you subtract you will be getting uh, 0 0.33 then you have to find out determinant of i minus b determinant of i minus b that is equal to here i minus b 0 0.50 minus 0 0.25 minus 0 0.40 0 0.33 you know how to expand the determinant multiply these two 0 0.50 and 0 0.33 that is equal to that is equal to 0 0.50 into 0 0.33 minus 
multiply the non leading diagonal elements they are minus 0 0.40 and minus 0 0.25 minus 0 0.40 minus 0 0.25 that is equal to if you multiply these two you will be getting 0 0.265 then minus into minus plus plus into minus minus then you have to multiply these two 0 0.40 and 0 0.25 0 0.1 then you have to subtract if you subtract you'll be getting 0 0.065 yes which is positive only greater than 0 then you can write the result since the main diagonal elements of main diagonal elements of i minus b matrix i minus b are positive look at that we have i minus b the main diagonal both the elements are positive and at the same time and determinant of i minus b determinant of i minus b here that is also positive is also positive then by hawkins simon conditions the given system is viable till then i have completed uh, three problems then i'll be teaching problem number four now problem number four now listen uh, two commodities a and b are produced such that 0.4 ton of A and 0.7 ton of B are required to produce a ton of A. Similarly, 0.1 ton of A and 0.7 ton of B are uh, needed to produce a ton of B. Write down the technology matrix. If 68 tons of A and 10.2 tons of B are uh, required, Find the gross product, gross production of both of them. Okay. Okay. As per the given data, I frame the technology matrix. The first condition is uh, we have the two commodities uh, A and B. Uh, for that the product, uh, for the commodity A, for producing the commodity A, we need 0.4. Point 0.4 ton of A and 0.7 ton of B are required to make a commodity A. Then one more condition given for, uh, for producing that commodity B, the requirements are 0.1 ton of A and 0.7 ton of B are required. Okay, again I tell you for producing the commodity B, 0.1 ton of A and 0.7 ton of B are required. This is the technology matrix. Then, <clears throat> 60 tons of A and 10.2 uh, tons of B are uh, required. Look at that. 68 tons of A and 10.2 tons of B are required. So, that should be considered as uh, demand demand commodity a that is equal to 64 sorry 68 tons and Commodity B that is equal to the requirement is uh, ten point two tons. Yes. Then we have to write the total output. Total output.
we have to consider as x1 and dx2. That is x1 now for the commodity A, what is given here, now look at that. Children here, a ton of A is given, correct? Yeah, a single ton. So, the output that is x1 for the commodity A and uh, for the commodity B also given a ton of B. A refers only one. So that is the total output, one and one, one for the commodity and another one for commodity B, okay. Next we have to calculate I minus B, consider I minus B. I minus B that is identity matrix 1001 minus the technology matrix is 0 0.4, 0 0.1, 0 0.7, 0 0.7. Then we have to calculate I minus B corresponding elements to be subtracted 1 minus 0 0.4, 0 minus 0 0.1. Again, 0 minus 0 0.7 and 1 minus 0 0.7. That is equal to 1 minus 0 0.4 is 0 0.6. If you subtract, you will be getting minus 0 0.1. Subtract, you will be getting minus 0 0.7. And subtract, you will be getting 0 0.3. Yes, I got that I minus B. Now, I am going to find out determinant of I minus B. That is equal to a determinant of... determinant of I minus B elements here that is uh, a 0 0.6 uh, minus 0 0.1 minus 0 0.7 and 0 0.3 uh, then uh, you have to multiply these two if you multiply you will be getting uh, 0 0.6 and 0 0.3 minus of the non-leading diagonal elements to be multiplied uh, minus 0 0.7 and the minus 0 0.1 yes if you multiply these two, you will be getting 0 0.18 minus into minus plus plus into minus minus 0 0.7 into 0 0.1 that is equal to 0 0.07. Yes, that is equal to 0 0.18 minus 0 0.07 that is equal to 0 0.11. Yes, which is greater than 0 at the same time which is not equal to 0. Okay, not equal to 0 and which is greater than 0. Then as per that uh, hawkins simon condition, the system is viable and means uh, it means uh, the system has the solution. Why they are viable? Look at that. The first condition of hawkins simon is uh, the, uh, for I minus B, the main diagonal elements are positive. Yes, here they are positive. At the same time, determinant of I minus B also positive. I write that. Since uh, the main diagonal elements of main diagonal elements of I minus B are positive and determinant of I minus B is also positive. by Hawkins Simon conditions the system is viable and it has the solution. Uh, in this uh, problem, uh, here I write, listen, we have, this is A11 is uh, 0.4, A11 that is equal to 0.4, A12 
one two that is equal to point one a two one that is equal to point seven and a two two that is also point seven point four point one point seven point seven then we have x one and x two here it is x one and x two we have to find out b one one b one two b two one and b two two okay b one one formula that is a one one by x one here a one two by x two this is a two one by x one a two two by x two children listen a one one value is a point four point four divided by x one is x one here it is that is equal to one one so anything divided by one is the same thing so point four one like that a one two value that is a point one. X two also one that is equal to point one. A two one here it is a point seven uh, divided by x one that is equal to point seven. A two two that is also point seven divided by x two x two that is equal to one that is equal to point seven. See this is a technology matrix. A technology matrix. So we know this is a B one one, B one two, B two one, B two. Here it is. Look at that. B one one that is point four. B one two that is point one. Ah, uh, B two one that is point seven, and B two two that is also point seven. Okay. Now I am going to write that uh, output x that is equal to. We know that. Total output uh, that is x equals i minus b the whole inverse into demand. Okay. Ah, uh, let it be ah uh, equation number one. First, write the formula for i minus b whole inverse. Therefore, i minus b whole inverse equals one by A determinant of i minus b into adjoint of i minus b. Particularly, determinant of i minus b is not equal to zero. After writing that, you have to calculate the determinant of i minus b. Already, we have calculated here. It is. Look at that. The determinant of i minus b here. That is point one one. Just you have to find out adjoint of i minus b only. So, adjoint of i minus b. That is equal to since it is a two by two matrix, very simple. I minus b here it is. Yes, I interchange the leading diagonal elements. Point six and point three becomes point three and point six. And the non-leading diagonal element change the sign. This one becomes plus point one. This one plus point seven. Point one, point seven. Therefore, therefore, I minus b. Whole inverse that is equal to formula here it is one by determinant of i minus b that is equal to point one one here it is point one one into adjoint of i minus b that is point three point one point seven and point six. Finally, uh, therefore equation number one implies equation number one x equals here it is x equals i minus b inverse into demand. I minus B inverse here it is that is one by zero point one one zero point three zero point one zero point seven zero point six into the demand that is given in the question itself here it is sixty eight and ten point two demand okay sixty eight and ten point two you write over here sixty eight and ten point two it's a row by column multiplication. Matrix multiplication. So row by column only that is equal to one divided by zero point one one. Have to multiply these two. Uh, zero point three and sixty eight. Zero point three into sixty eight plus multiply these two. Zero point one into ten point two. Like that for the second row. Point seven into sixty eight plus point six into ten point two. 
that is equal to 1 divided by 0 0.11, 0 0.11 into, if you multiply, it will be getting 2.04 plus 0 0.1 into 10.2, 1.02, 0 0.7 into 68, 47.6 plus 0.6 into 10.2, 6.12. Then you have to add that is equal to 1 by 0 0.11 into, if you add, you will be getting 3.06, 3 3.06 .06, 3 .06, your 47. Uh, 53, 53.72, 53.72. Children, you have to multiply these two. You will be getting, if you multiply, you will be getting 3.06 divided by 0 0.11. Then you have to multiply these two. You will be getting 53.72 divided by 0 0.11. That is equal to, if we divide, you will be getting 27.818 then uh, 53.72 if we divide uh, students uh, for getting the book answer we have to do some modification in the question you know, actually you are given 68 tenths of a this is not 68 tenths you have to change it to 6.8 6.8 as i told here 6.8 Okay, then only can get the book answer. So demand uh, commodity A that is six point eight tenths. Okay, rest of them correct only. Here also we have to change equation one implies this is six point eight. Here also six point eight. Six point eight. Uh, 0 0.3 into 6.8 that is a uh, 2.04 0 0.7 into 6.8 that is equal to 4.76 if we add these two 2.04 plus 1.02 that is uh, 3.06 that's correct only then 4.76 plus uh, 6.12 that is equal to 4 plus 6 uh, 10 10 plus 88 10.88 here you have take 10.88 then you have to multiply these two that means uh, 3.06 divided by 11 I have written here then 10.88 10.88 divided by 0.11. If you divide, you are getting 27.818. Then you have to divide 10.88 divided by 0 0.11. 98.9090. The next step, you can write uh, 27. Point, it can be rounded up to two decimal places. So look at the third digit. Uh, uh, since it is, uh, if it is 5 or more than 5, you know very well, uh, 1 can be added with the previous digit. So, what's the number here? 8. So, that 1 plus 1 becomes 2. So, 8, 2 is the answer. Like that, 98 point, uh, look at the third digit, uh, first, second and third digit, since it is uh, uh, more than uh, 5, uh, 5 or more than 5, 1 can be added with the previous digit. Since it is 9, uh, 0 plus 1, that is equal to 1. So, 9, 1. Finally, I have to write the result. Uh, therefore, you are asked to find the gross production of both of them. That means the gross production of the commodity A, gross production of the commodity A equals 27.82 tenths approximately and the gross production of
of the commodity B that is equal to we have 98.91 tons 98.91 tons approximately children uh, in that exercise uh, 1.4 have completed uh, first four problems then i'll be teaching that uh, remaining problems in the next video thank you children